Welcome back. Okay, we asked the question again, artwork or advertisement? That's the $11,000 question facing one Chattanooga bakery. The Flying Donuts mural on a building owned by the bakery isn't flying with city officials. New Channel 9's Drew Vallea has the story. What began as an effort to brighten a city corner has put Cook's Bakery at odds with the city signage ordinance. It's art. It's not, it's not signage for me. There is now a splash of color at the corner of Broad and 20th Street. I've been in this area for 31 years, and I, I thought it would, would be something better than the old building. Barbara Davis is the owner of Cuck's Bakery. And I had no idea that I was causing any kind of problems. I, that was not my intention. In the last week, an $11,000 mural of donuts flying through the air was painted on a storage building facing 20th Street. And I've had nothing but positive feedback from customers and from, from people in general. That's, I mean, it's fabulous. It's artwork. It's artwork. I drove out here on my bicycle this morning early just to look at it in case somebody's going to make it go away. But the city sees the artwork a bit differently. Sign ordinance was adopted by city in 1986. Gary Hilbert is the director of land development for Chattanooga, which enforces the signage code. He says some artwork is fine. As long as it doesn't advertise the product that you are selling. The ordinance also stipulates that a painted ad can only cover 20% of the facade, which again begs the art or advertisement question. And there's no sign on it that says anything about my name. There's not an arrow that, that points to my bakery or anything. Davis says she was told she must either paint over the mural or condense it to 20% of the face of the building. I just thought it was a happy, beautiful sign for the south side. Hilbert says his office will take a few days to investigate and that they'll also work with Davis to come to a resolution. Davis tells me that she's thankful for all the support she's gotten and that she plans to start a petition to help save the artwork or advertisement. In Chattanooga, Drew Balea, News Channel 9. And we want to hear from you on how you would interpret that city ordinance. Is the donut mural simply beautifying a street corner? Or is it an advertisement for Cuck's Bakery? Head over to News Channel 9's Facebook page and let us know what you think.